What's up guys, Apu here, and this is Wildlab YouTube channel, and here we are with the 15th episode of Hacker Rank Challenges in Python. So today's video is about the birthday chocolate challenge. Okay, so uh, right, all right, all right, all right, let's jump in. We will be given a list that looks like this, okay, and we'll be given the day and the month, or the month, or each, which is which, okay, the month. The month is the two and the day is the three. Okay, so we'll be given a month and the day. Then what we will need to find is how how many chocolate bars, now each of those is chocolate bar. We want two chocolate bars, which is the amount of the month, that the results of add them up is the day, okay? So we need two chocolate bar that if we sum them up, we will get three. And here, for example, we don't, and then we return how many ways we can get this. So for example, here, we can get three by adding two chocolates using this way and using this way. So we return two ways. Here, for example, since all of them are ones, we return zero. Here, since we got the day four and the month is one, how we want one chocolate bar that results in total of the days, which is four. We have one that is in four, so we return just one. Okay, so hope that's clear. Let's jump in. Let me turn on that full screen. Okay, great. So here, first thing we want to do is, we want to keep a track of the ways we can uh, get the results. So what we will do is create ways counter and make it zero then now we want to loop through the list okay so we'll go for i and range of the length of s okay the cursor is a bit off i think because we are in full screen Okay, no, whatever. So, in the range of the length of S, uh, we got our race counter. So, now what we want to get is the total. Okay, so we want to say we will create a variable, we call it total, and we will make it sum i, which we will start at zero. Okay. So, so we want to get the index from uh, <coughs> the items from the list of this the s list which is this this list over here or this one over here so we want to get that but not all of it we want to just subtract it so which part we want we want the parts that starts at i up to i plus the month so if we started here at zero which which we should we start at zero we will get the item that has the index zero and the item that has the index from the index zero up to the index two because m in the first is it two and the first the third item would be okay so we have m as two so we, it would be two so what we will get is one and two so we will sum those two numbers, which will be given as subtracted. Let, let me show you. Okay, let me show you. If we take this, we commented this. Print it here. Run the code. As you can see here, we get one, two, two, one, one, three, two, th three, two, and two. And that's exactly what we want. Now, after that, what we want to do is, okay, let me, let's get back over here. Now we got that. We want to check if that total that we will get equals the days. If it is, that's perfect. We can just increase those counter by one. And then we can just return the ways of counter. Let's run the code. Perfect. Let's submit the code now. Nice. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed.
hit that like button if you like the video and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos so yep peace out Thank you.